Hi, I'm Mrs. Newberry, and I'm your hostess for First Chapter Friday. And the book I selected is a back-to-school story called Miss Banks Pulls Lots of Pranks. It's by Dan Gutman, and HarperCollins is allowing us to read this to you today. So I hope you enjoy this. It's hard enough getting back to school after a lovely summer, but wait till you have a teacher who pulls pranks. All right. Let's begin our first chapter. Bummer after the summer. My name is AJ, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about Oreos, because that's what I'm thinking about. Oreos are my favorite cookie. How do they get that yummy cream filling inside? Each one of those cookies so perfectly. Do they have machines to do it? Or is some guy sitting in a factory squirting the cream into every single Oreo? Man, that guy must be tired at the end of the day. I wouldn't want to grow up and become an Oreo squirter. That's for sure. My point is third grade is finally over and I have to start fourth grade now. Bummer, after the summer, in fourth grade, we'll have to learn all new stuff harder stuff. Of course, Andrea Young, this annoying girl in my class with curly brown hair, is so excited about moving up to fourth grade. Do you know what the human homework machine did over summer vacation? She didn't hang out with the rest of us. She didn't play ball or watch TV or play video games. No, she studied. It's true. Andrea needs to be smarter than everybody else in fourth grade. What? is her problem. On the first day of school, I saw little Miss Know-It-All outside on the steps. She was talking with her crybaby friend, Emily. I went to the beach with my family in August, Emily said. It was so much fun. I taught myself about quadrilaterals and how to do three-digit multiplication, said Andrea. Quadro what? I had no idea what she was talking about. Why can't a truck full of quadrilaterals fall on Andrea's head? The rest of the gang was coming up the front steps to school. Who's going to be our new teacher, asked Ryan. Who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food? Who's going to be our new teacher, asked Michael. Who never ties his shoes? Who's going to be our new teacher, asked Alexia. This girl who rides a skateboard all the time. In case you were wondering, everybody was asking who would be our new teacher. In case you were wondering, everybody was asking who would be our new teacher. We walked a million hundred miles to room 123, which is the fourth grade classroom. The sign above the door said, Miss Banks. Who's Miss Banks, asked Neil, who we call the nude kid, even though he wears clothes. I never heard of her. She must be a new teacher, I said. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. As soon as we stepped on the carpet inside the classroom door, there was a weird popping sound. Pop, 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 pop. Eek, screamed Emily. Help, shouted Alexia. The aliens have landed, shouted Ryan. Run for your lives, shouted Neil. Everybody was yelling and screaming, hooting and hollering, and freaking out. Some lady came running over. She picked up the corner of the carpet. What's this, she asked. Bubble wrap? Hmm, I wonder who put this bubble wrap under the carpet. Who are you, asked Andrea. My name is Miss Banks. The lady told us, I'll be your teacher this year for fourth grade. She went over to the whiteboard and wrote Miss Banks in big letters. Then she told us to take a seat at the desk. That had our name on it. When I sat down, a huge farting noise came out from under me. Not just from me. Everybody made a huge farting noise when they sat down. There's a whoopee cushion on my seat, yelled Alexia. Mine too, shouted Emily. Hmm, said Miss Banks. I wonder who put those there. Anyway, we're going to have a wonderful year together. Does anybody have a question about fourth grade? Andrea was waving her hand. 
uh, in the air like she was trying to signal a plane from a desert island. <laughs> but I raised my hand and Miss Banks called on me first. So na 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 boo 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 on Andrea. How old are you? I asked Miss Banks. That's not nice, Arlo, said Andrea, who calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. You're not supposed to ask grown-ups how old they are. Why not? Who made that dumb rule? Oh, I don't mind you asking my age, said Miss Banks. I'm 142 years old. <laughs> wow, everybody said, which is mom upside down. You don't look that old, said Ryan. Well, I have a very good moisturizer, replied Miss Banks. I have a question, said Neil. Why are you wearing two different colored socks? Neil was right. Miss Banks had a red sock on her left foot and a blue sock on her right foot. Oh, she said, I have another pair of socks just like this at home. What? Well, continued Miss Banks, if both of your socks are the same color, how can you tell you have them on the right foot? I looked down at my socks. Maybe they were on the wrong feet. I didn't even know that they were supposed to wear certain socks on certain feet. Fourth grade had just started, and I already learned something. Andrea was still waving her hand in the air like she was washing a really big window. So Miss Banks called on her. I brought you a present, Miss Banks. Andrea said sweetly. Of course, I knew Andrea wouldn't waste any time sucking up to the new teacher. She went over to Miss Banks' desk and put an apple on it. Why, thank you, Andrea. Miss Banks took a bite of the apple. Then she stopped for a moment, looked frightened, grabbed her throat with both hands. Allergic to apples, she groaned. Need water. Going to die. Then she fell on the floor. We all rushed out into the hall to get water from the water fountain for Miss Banks. But when we got back to class, she was standing there like nothing unusual had happened. Just kidding, she said. I'm not allergic to apples. Hey, Ryan whispered to me. The new teacher is cool. Andrea raised her hand again. What are we going to learn in fourth grade, Miss Banks, she asked. Well, Miss Banks replied, today I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at what we'll be studying in math, social studies, science, and your other subjects. Doesn't that sound like fun? Yes, shouted all the girls. No, shouted all the boys. But first, Miss Banks went over and picked up a big plate from her desk. Who wants a brownie? I do, I do. I do. In case you were wondering, everybody wanted a brownie. Of course, brownies are almost as good as Oreos. I could eat a brownie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's the perfect food. Do you have any Oreos, I asked. No, just brownies, replied Miss Banks. She took the plastic wrap off the plate, came over to my desk, and said I could pick any brownie I wanted. There was just one problem. There weren't any problems brownies on the plate. It was filled with a bunch of letter E's cut out of brown colored paper. Those aren't brownies, I shouted. Sure they are, said Miss Banks, holding one up for everybody to see. They're brown E's. <laughs> Get it? Brownies? Brown E's? Miss Banks is weird the end of our first chapter. If you are interested in find, finding out what else Miss Banks does to her fourth grade class, all these pranks she keeps pulling, please come to the library. We have multiple copies and you can check this book out and find out if Miss Banks pulls lots of pranks. The end. Thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful school year. Take care, guys.